Hey folks, Dave with you back uh, again with Summit Racing and we're talking about 2022 new products and uh, today we have a guest from JMS Chip. It is Mark. Mark, thanks for being here and I know you've got a few different products you want to cover. How you doing? Good, thank you Dave. Good. Yeah, so I, like I said, I think there's there's three or four items here. So where do you want to start? A lot of good stuff. Um, we can start with our JMS Boost Max. Um, our Boost Max is designed to work with all EcoBoost engines to considerably increase uh, horsepower and torque. Uh, some applications up to 50 plus horsepower, depending on the application. Um, it is a plug and play design. It is easy to install. Um, it connects to the factory tip and map sensors, uh, and it has an included knob that you can do uh, on the fly shift, boost, you know, up, down, whatever you want to do, depending on the application. Um, there's no OBD2 programming involved, and that with our pedal max, uh, you can stack the two together and get throttle response and the horsepower and torque increase at the same time. Great. You say that's all uh, EcoBoost, uh, one liter all the way up to 3.5, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. correct. Okay. Uh, and then also, I know you have a couple uh, FuelMax products, FuelMax and FuelMax Easy, I believe. Let's, let's yes. talk about those. Yes. So our FuelMax line uh, actually increases the voltage supplied in real time from the car itself. So basically on our EZ product, our EZ actually monitors the voltage and increases it up to up to 22 volts uh, to, by just monitoring the wire. Our JMS FuelMax side actually has a pedal activation harness on most applications where it's a percentage of throttle versus voltage output. Um, on both models, you know, you can increase your output as much as 85% with the existing pump setups and everything else. And they do come together as a kit. The EZ is designed to pretty much be a plug and play kit. Almost zero wires need to be at all installed in the car. It's just literally plug in. Okay, so no modifications to firewall, nothing like that? No. No, it, it has a pedal harness on our fuel max side that plugs into the in between the factory harness and the accelerator pedal. And then on the EZ, the EZ actually plugs directly into the fuel pump control relay modules and everything is monitored off of that. OK, uh, design wise, uh, you know, pretty durable. You say OE quality, probably. I mean, yes, these things are OE quality device. You know, it is made for the 05s through, you know, 2021, 2022s uh, on the Mustangs and the F-150s. Uh, we have a considerable amount of these products out there, and it just makes it really nice for the guys who don't want to get into completely modifying their fuel system, but they need just that little bit more fuel demand so they're able to install this product relatively easily and it's in a, a very good price range where you're not tearing your entire car apart and it does what it's supposed to do okay and you mentioned that at the outset you know instead of full ratio it, it's partial it, it's kind of depends on how much you're putting into it talk about the advantage of that so what it is is it's very flexible product so it, it can be set up both for uh, time-based ramp or immediate ramp, and then the uh, adjustment on the voltage, so your input voltage is dependent on throttle angle on your accelerated pedal position sensor. So the guys with a, say, a, a root style blower, um, you know, GT500, if they need an immediate spike in fuel pressure, you can lower the voltage. So basically it will come on about 30% throttle some guys need it to come on a little bit further. So it has that adjustability where you can choose the amount of accelerated pedal position before it turns on. And then also once it turns on, you have the ability to have the ramp up to your set output voltage in a time-based ramp. Okay. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of versatility there for depending on what your needs might be. So yes. 
Yeah. Uh, last product is uh, the Super Speedway uh, CD Ignition. And this one is one that's out in the field. It's already doing its thing. Talk about uh, where people can kind of see that in action. And then uh, just let's get into the features a little bit. Sure. So right now, the Ignition is improved for the Southern Super Series, the Cars Super Late Model uh, Tour, the Spears Southwest Tour Series, and there's a few other ones like the Big Eight. Uh, and there's a, a bunch more that are just picking it up now and making a spec ignition system for them. Okay. Uh, let's get into some of the, the features. Obviously, it's compatible with distributor, crank trigger. Uh, got some RPM limit uh, capability there. Uh, talk about that yes. a little bit. So uh, right now, it has a set maximum up to 9,900 RPM in 100 RPM steps. Um, it is a fully encapsulated construction, waterproof. Uh, all the wiring is terminated in weather pack connectors. It is, um, it is very compact in size, actually. The module is seven inches by five and a quarter, I believe, by almost two inch. And uh, it's used mainly right now as this is the spec ignition for all the asphalt racing stuff okay. right now. Yeah, so that compact size obviously gives you some good mounting versatility for it. And uh, yes. also, I believe it, it's a 5 amp or less current draw. Is that correct? Yeah, it's less than 5 amps at 8,000 RPM. Okay. So, yeah, not, not a lot of amp draw, uh, good output, got some versatility with the mounting. Yeah. Um, and all the products that we're talking about today are, are new for you guys, but they're now available, correct? Yes, they are available. All right. Well, Mark, we appreciate your time. Uh, look for all JMS chip products, including the ones we talked about here at summitracing.com.